I think we've got to reconcile to a degree that design perpetuates waste and grappling with the fact that our work will at some point end up as waste. Well, we found this on the side of the road, just, uh, just up from our place. So I guess what we're trying to do is document work in our local, on our local street, really, within a sort of one kilometre radius. This was our neighbour's direct yeah. neighbour. Yeah, and she had passed away at the start of the year and there was a lot of cleaning up going on next door. Then the furniture sort of started to come out the front, the little bits and pieces. It was, yeah. a, it was a sad, lonely chair that was just screaming for someone to, yeah. to come past and, you know, pick it up and... Love it. And, uh, Love me. Walk into the sunset with it. I'm not ready. Yeah, it's not ready. It's still got another life. I've always liked the idea of seeing how the community or the people that surround you could potentially be your client. So if the community then is your client, well, we are going to fix this piece and give it back to the community, so put it on the nature strip. If we could change the way that hard rubbish is looked at, just through some micro interventions and like mini protests. That could be really interesting. When somebody finds this chair on the side of the road and it goes to a new home, I hope they get the same feeling that we did when we found it and they're excited and they feel like they've found a little bit of treasure and it finds a nice home. I'm, I'm after a happy ending. 